The following problem is an application of quadratic equations, and it states, the length of a vegetable garden is 8 feet more than the width w. If the area of the garden is 240 square feet, find the width of the garden. So we have a rectangular garden here, and uh, we're going to label our diagram. So we know something about this. We know that the length l is 8 feet more than the width w, so the length is w plus 8. And it's stated that the width has a measure of w. Now, we also know that the area is 240 square feet. Recall that the formula for area is length times width. So we're going to use this information to set up an equation that we can solve. So now, knowing that the area is 240 feet squared, we're going to say that the length w plus 8 times the width should give us 240, which is our area. So now we will distribute, and we obtain w squared plus 8w equals 240. Now, recall that this is a quadratic equation. So what we need to do, our goal will be to get this equation equal to zero so that we can apply our box method of factoring to solve this equation. So what we'll do is subtract 240 from both sides. So now our new equation states that w squared plus 8w minus 240 equals 0. So what we're going to go ahead and do is apply our box method now. So we'll go ahead and paste in our box that we're going to use to factor this polynomial, this quadratic equation. And recall that we should always write the first term in the first box and the last term in the last box. So I'll write w squared here and minus 240 here. Now the remaining two boxes is what we need to figure out. So we will write negative 240 here. So we need the factors of 240 such that when added we get a difference here of 8. Now we know we're going to have to subtract because we have two opposing signs, a positive and a negative here. So the only factors that come to mind are 12 and 20, since 12 times 20 is 240. So let's think about this for a minute. A positive times a negative, or a negative times a positive, are the only ways that we will get a negative 240 here. So this helps us in determining the signs for 12 and 20. So negative 12 and positive 20 because that will give us a difference of positive 8. So, let's fill that in. Negative 12 w plus 20 w. So now that I've got that, all I need to do is factor out the greatest common factor along each of the rows and each of the columns, and I should obtain some values for w. So let's see here. The greatest common factor for the first row is w. The greatest common factor for the second row is 20. And we will write plus 20 since the contents of this box that it's touching are positive. Now let's look at the first column. The greatest common factor here is w and the second column the greatest common factor there is negative 12. So we write negative also because the contents of this box are negative. So now we have our two factors. So our equation, our new equation, looks like this. w plus 20 times w minus 12 equals 0. So using the zero factor property, 
we will set w plus 20 equal to 0 and w minus 12 equal to 0. In the first case we obtain w equals negative 20 and in the second case we obtain w equals 12. Well, let's think about this for a minute. We have two widths. However, can we have negative distance? We can't. So, because of that, negative 20 cannot be a solution to our problem. The width of the rectangular garden is 12 feet. And we have solved our equation using the box method of factoring.